we've got uh, Tommy Mia and Duri Abala who are here to talk about well why don't I just throw it over to you straight away Tommy why why are you here what is this because I'm sure a lot of people know you already <laughs> they know who you are yeah well we are th we're talking about the international Indian chef of the year competition which was launched in 1991 and every year there's always uh, been a winner uh, even people who came shortlisted they've done so well and i'm very pleased that uh, it's still going very strong i mean you said uh, we were joking just before the show came on live that this show has been going on longer than i have been on this world of course yeah. and i'm sure <laughs> the way it's going it's going to be going even more longer and longer because yeah. you've talked about some of the uh, competitors and people that have taken part in it and can you just tell us what, what have they gone on to do? Like, how has this influenced their lives? Well, if, if you look at it from the, from the first year, 1991, I'm sure, as I told you, Enam Ali won it the first year, 1991. Uh, he runs the British Curry Wars now. Um, and then we have uh, Mahmoud Aslam from the Agra group. When he won it, he had about a couple of restaurants. Now he's got about 20 now in sort of Leeds, Bradford, and that part of the world. Uh, another winner who, run, who runs the uh, uh, Taj Hotel uh, in South Africa. So uh, I mean, there's, there's been winners. I mean, we've got Tipu from Northampton, Shamim from Darbar. I mean, the list goes on. Mm. I mean, uh, when I started, I just thought, well, because there isn't any awards happening. And I was quite keen to promote uh, the food. And uh, I decided with some friends at the time, you know, like Edwina Curry was the health minister. She supported us, Lisa Aziz, Ulrika Johnson. I mean, it, it's, it's... You know, it, it, we had a lot of support over the years. And um, this is the biggest out of the lot, you know. It's a bit like... Um, I've wondered this before in terms of our community. It's so much about cuisine and food and, uh, you know, different palates and stuff like that. Like, we, we don't really focus on it as much as we should and initiatives like this like have been doing that for years now and we need to keep focusing on it more and more don't we in terms well, of cuisine and yeah i mean and we, we're very fortunate to have uh, uh especially this year you know a wonderful uh, contestant duri bala from calcutta and surprisingly this year all the contestant in in calcutta was women first time ever Really? <laughs> well, let's go to Duri and let's talk, to you. Let's talk about this, uh, yeah. this uh, Kolkata contestant. How was it? What was it like for you to come through that stage? Uh, it, was, it was an amazing experience because uh, it, I've never been to a contest earlier. And so when I got this opportunity, I, said, I was really thrilled. And uh, I wanted to do my best. So a couple of days I'm thinking what to make, what to make, which will... Now the judges were all coming from London yeah. and I think from Malaysia also. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, what is going to impress them? And the, and the uh, theme was a curry base. So I, I said, okay, I went back, studied, I googled. Then I said, okay, I'll make this dish. Mm -hmm. I made a round. Mm. Okay, because earlier the, Cal the Nawabs came to Kolkata. They were ruling. And when they went, they left traces of their um, cuisine behind. And uh, so it has been adapted quite well. So it, I made that. I, I used to make it in my house for, the <laughs> for my family. <laughs> so I was good at it. So how did you get into this? Like well, what opened your eyes to this competition? Uh, I was uh, 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 like... Let, I me, was let me sort of... Go go on. Yeah. What it was, uh, I had a contact in Calcutta, mm. and obviously India is very important because Indian chef of the year. Uh, so one of my contacts in Bangladesh, uh, his nephew runs a, a Bosch company in, in Calcutta and very successful. They do a lot of uh, outside catering, but also they run traditional uh, uh, f food restaurants, you know, and uh, I, I got in touch with him and said, look, um, we want to hold an Indian hit, but I, you know, I, I need your support, and he, he willingly came on board and uh, marketed it, promoted it, and uh, the, the, the contestant he got, as I said, uh, all, uh, all women, and uh, uh, Duri came, came top in front of the judges, uh, you know. Um, so so how many people did you have to beat to get through yeah. that? Oh, I, how many people did you have to beat? Uh, eight. 
<laughs> well, the, the eight on the day, but okay. I think we've had about uh, Kolkata around at the time. In total, we've had over 10,000 applications. Wow. But India, in, yes. in general, I think would say, I would say 50% because so much uh, yeah. coming through and so on. So well, so there's a lot of people there yeah. as well. And yeah. um, I was talking to you earlier, Duria, about yeah. uh, how you present your dishes and all that. And you said to me, like, in terms of presentation, that's one of the most important stages. Yes, I think when you are serving food, it's, it's, it's nice if you make good food, but the way you present it, uh, you know, the taste buds will mm -hmm. <laughs> Or it's a visual meal, isn't it, when you <laughs> Visually, look at it? Visually, yeah. it has to be appealing. Mm. And uh, I guess if you're making a classic, you see, Indian, Indian curries are basically uh, classic. Mm. And they have to be presented that way, how they were eaten earlier mm. by, you know. Oh, so that's what, that's what you're talking about. You've done your research and yes. you want to yes. uh, emulate that, don't you? <laughs> well, you're an author, Duria, which we haven't even mentioned at all yet yeah. so I far. People are just thinking you're, you're cooking, but you're an author as well. <laughs> yes. I've written a book on Indian Bora cuisine, which is because I'm, I'm from the Bora family, but married to Punjabi. My husband is from Jammu Kashmir. So um, we have quite a blend of Punjabi food, the Bora cuisine, and of course the Kolkata food. And what is, what is your personal uh, end goal in terms of cooking? You wonder, what, what do you want that to lead into? Basically, um, I think I'm too old now to come <laughs> open on. Never no, it's all in your come mind. On. You can't say too you're old. here to win it. <laughs> yes, yes, so go yes, for it. Yes, <laughs> I know, I know. But like usually, everybody says, "Okay, I want to open a restaurant or things like that." But I would like to do a cooking show on TV so that I can reach out to more people. You know, mm. audiences, of course, more. Why well, are, are you very shouty like Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> you get angry. Are you no, he's aggressive. Yeah. He scares you sometimes. I, don't know. I could see, I could see you as a good around yeah, type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, so in terms of uh, the competition, what can people expect? Like, what is the... Well, what, what the is uh, the uh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. which is uh, Monday, um, the, the competition takes place at Billingsgate Seafood School. Uh, it starts 9 o'clock sharp and sort of uh, they stop cooking about 11.30. And then 11.45 this year, we've uh, managed to uh, persuade Virgin Train to uh, host the tasting there, you know, the competition. Mm -hmm. So part of it will be done in Billingsgate and the finish off would be on Virgin Train first class and uh, with in front of our, all of our judges. Um, so you've got a special guest We have ninth. Well, on the train, well, um, the, all of them are special, yes, I think, course, you know. But uh, the award ceremony, uh, I'm pleased to say that the first time in our history of our competition, I managed to uh, uh, get um, uh, one of the m m family member from the, the royal family, uh, uh, Hisharaj, the Princess Royal. Mm. She's going to be the guest of honor on the 9th of October at Elect Conference Center uh, in Fulham. Mm. And I mean, uh, earlier you were talking about promotion yeah. of Indian cuisine and bringing, you know, having a royal come around. That's well, sort of, that puts the stamp on yeah, it, doesn't it? Does, it? it does, that it does. That puts the stamp. Yeah. That makes having said that, I mean, I have uh, over the years, I mean, uh, since 1993, uh, I've written about 20 cookbooks. Mm. And uh, that was the time we had the first forward by was for, uh, from uh, uh, Sarah Ferguson. Mm. And then... Um, in 2000, my uh, claim to fame was the uh, the, the, the queen. Uh, uh, she endorsed my book, and that really got us into the map all over the world. It promoted everything, helped me a lot. And getting Princess Royal now is, what more can you ask for? Let me, can I give you a suggestion? I don't, know, I don't know, you can throw this away, you can throw this at me if you want. But I think there should be a special round yeah. in this competition where you go up against the oh, winner. Right, okay. I'd right. like to see what, you can, what you'd throw up there. Cause well, you never know. I agree with you. Huh? Don't you think that would be, I'd, I'd like to see that. Yeah, okay. I'd like to okay. see that because the Thank stuff you. that... Thank you. Oh, I, oh, I, just, I might just come up for the meal just to eat it. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. right. But also, um, okay, let's run through it then. Let's run through it so that everyone at home there's no confusion. Yeah. Uh, what well, well basically the what is it's a meal for four. Mm. Uh, the the each contestant need to cook from scratch. 
you know, and uh, in front of the judges. And do, are they given like a set choice of ingredients? No, no, or no, no, they no. Basically, the, they provide the menu, mm. and and they buy their ingredients. So that means we don't get involved just in case. Oh, I didn't get this. I yeah, didn't get yeah. that. So we don't get involved. Uh, I'm not even a judge. I organize it, but uh, judges are uh, wonderful uh, chairman. We have uh, Patricia Thompson. Then we have. Uh, 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 airline consultant, uh, you probably know, he's a former CEO of Biman, uh, uh, Kevin Steele. Mm. And then we have Andrew Sely of Bidfood, one of the largest uh, uh, food suppliers. Um, and there, there, there's m much more. Uh, we've got about nine judges in total. And, uh, and we're also supporting a good cause on the night with Columba 1400, is a sort of a Scottish base. A charity where uh, Princess Anne is also a, a patron of that. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's only not only just food, but we're supporting uh, a good cause. And the competition has been going on for a long time, so it might be a bit redundant to ask this question. But what's 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 next? Like, how are you thinking about evolving the show? I know you can throw away my idea of people <laughs> facing you, <laughs> but like, what are you? What's hap what's going to happen in the next couple of years with the? Well, I think you know I I the competition, as I said, it's been going on for 26 years, and um, every year we're trying to sort of add value by introducing new things. You know, like for example, this is the first time we've managed to get Virgin Train on board, mm. and that's uh, there's been a huge interest from the media. Um, you know, so uh, there's always something different every year, whether what? it's a celeb, whether it's uh, something else, you know. Oh, I can talk to you both about this. I don't know if it's just me that's observing this, but I feel like in the past few years, the world has gotten a lot more infatuated with food. I don't know if it's like the Great British Bake Off or whatever. Well, it's, it's good, uh, good, good, good for the competition. Yeah, and also, yeah. it tells you what type of food you, you, you would enjoy eating, you know, so um, which is good for the industry. And I, I'm going to ask you this question. And I you? think mm. it's because now there's so much of media mm. everywhere. You find even the top chefs, they're doing cooking shows and uh, very motivating, you know. So it uh, earlier we never heard so many people be chefs mm. and this, that. Very few used to come out. But now it seems everybody wants to become a chef. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, glamorous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you a question, Durian. I know you're not going to answer me properly, <laughs> but what's your plans for tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to tell you, yeah. but uh, you know, yeah. it's uh, should it be a secret or can I? Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, well, I think you should keep it, keep yeah, it, keep 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 it yeah, close yeah, to your yeah, chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I assume it's going to come with the same sort of research and culture that you're... Oh, yeah. with, oh, a yes. with a passion. Yes, with a passion. I'm coming all the way from India. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I've done up. my research and I've... <laughs> 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 because, uh, no, it is in me. Whatever I do, whatever I take up, any challenge, I have to do it properly, perfectly. Mm. At least as, as far as I can. And uh, you made in the, you said in the first in Kolkata you made run. Yes. Are you gonna go for a? Oh, I just keep <laughs> prodding. I keep <laughs> prodding. Are you gonna go no, for it's a? Secret. <laughs> oh, it's okay. a secret. It's okay. coming up. Nothing's coming up. Okay, so that's uh, tomorrow. The competition tomorrow. is at at Billingsgate Seafood School. Yes. And then on to Virgin Train Virgin from Train. King Cross to York, and then return. And the award ceremony is on the ninth. On the ninth with Prince Princess Anne. Okay, well, uh, thank you, Tommy. I'm Maria. keeping my fingers thank you. crossed. And good luck to you. Thank you. Good luck to you as well. Thank you for having us. No, thank you guys for coming in.